your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott, certified most accurate by weather rate. Thanks, Evan. Appreciate that. Let's get to the weather headlines. A lot to talk about. A freeze in spots this morning and tomorrow morning, a patchy frost will be possible as we do have a frost advisory. We do have a warming trend coming through the weekend. Great weather for the Razorback game. Battle for the golden boot. No worries about battling the weather. Rain chances on Monday with a question mark and exclamation points because let's just say maybe those rain chances are in there. But after a chance of rain Monday and Tuesday, we could be looking at another dry spell by the middle towards the end of next week. I say another dry spell. We've pretty much been in the same dry spell. Look at the temperature this morning, though. Fayetteville at 27 degrees. Solemn Springs hitting 31. X and A just one degree above freezing. Rogers at Carter Field not reporting. And then the fire, of course, happened just east of Carter Field, right across the road from Highway 62. 32 in Stigler, 34 in McAllister. Now, we do have our Weatherbug Network cameras taking a look at this. The smoke plume not nearly as vertically developed. You can see that the smoke isn't quite as thick as well. The problem is, is that the plume has expanded over northwest Arkansas, and this looks like a storm cloud, but that is, in fact, all from the fire at uh, Mark Industries Incorporated. Here's a look at the Bentonville Midtown building, and you can see that uh, smoke moving overhead as well as the Pea Ridge area. Send us your weather photos. We've gotten a lot of them, but you can go to our app by downloading uh, KNWA's uh, uh, weather app. You can see it right there. Your weather authority, scan that QR code. Another thing you'll be looking at, not everywhere because of the smoke plume, unfortunately, but uh, there will be that comet in the sky over the next few days. It does get dimmer as we get closer to Halloween, so we'll keep you updated. Each time after sundown, it'll be higher and higher in the sky. Let's get to our weather forecast, frost advisory, so might want to cover up the plants, although it won't be a killing freeze as high pressure remains in control. There's that clockwise flow, and that's why we don't see any rain or cloud cover for that matter but uh, we do have that smoke plume across the area. Lower 30s across the area tomorrow. Temperatures climbing into the upper 60s. So the weather is looking pretty nice. If you look west of Fayetteville, there's no smoke plume at all, 63 degrees. And if you're in Washington County, you'll be able to see that comet a little bit better. Look at from our weather bub network camera at Garrison, you can see the smoke plume is far away from that area uh, looking off to the west. Temperatures in the 60s and some upper 50s as well. So here's the change in our weather pattern. See that giant system hitting the Pacific Northwest? That's gonna cause a dip in the jet stream, but then it becomes a cutoff low. As it slowly moves eastward, that's going to bring the likelihood of some rain moving in. And on the future track, you'll see a little bit of green showing up. Not a lot, but enough where I think we have to include it in the forecast. And look at that, a little bit of green popping up on your seven day precipitation forecast. For the next several days, upper 60s, lower 70s, Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at mid 70s. Great weather for the Razorback game, as we mentioned. Temperatures will climb into the upper 70s to lower 80s by the early part of next week. Warm, warm, warm as temperatures will be climbing and it does look like it, it's going to continue to be dry. We'll be right back after the break with more KWA News at six. The Patriot.